Hey everyone, I am back with another review of another Project MC Squared doll and experiment. And this one is called Michaela's Lava Light, featuring a fully articulated Michaela McAllister doll and a science experiment, which in this case is a make your own lava light. And um, this series I noticed emphasizes STEAM, not STEM, so I was wrong. And STEAM stands for science, technology, engineering, art, and math, which I think is super cool and definitely skills I want to foster in my daughter. If you've watched the series, you know that Michaela McAllister is the MC Squared of Project MC Squared because she's Michaela McAllister. She's also the ringleader of their group of spies. She has to train the other three girls to become spies. In the back of the box describes her as a writer, hipster, undercover spy. And her phrase is, I'm smart, get over it. And the side of the box is where I noticed this whole concept of STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And you notice that art is highlighted for Michaela. And her favorite uh, patterns, um, this red tartan and the owls, are on the side of her box. So this makes me wonder who math is, because Michaela's art, I'm pretty sure Adrienne was science, Brighton's technology, Cameron is engineering, so there must be a fifth girl they have yet to introduce for math. Um, and then this side of the box is super clever. It says OMG, but it's oxygen magnesium from the periodic table. This motivates me to go back and fish out Adrian Adams' box from the recycle bin. And on her side, it says super cute or CU for copper, TE for tellurium. And then I see that her tab has science, her side, her tab highlighted is science. And these are her fabrics patterns that she likes. So now opening everything up, this is the lava light that has a cap on it um, that comes with the doll and the experiment. And this is the comb that's shaped like a beaker that seems to come with all of them. And they did include batteries in here, which is so great. They also include an instruction booklet that tells you what contents you should have received and also what items you need to bring to the table, which are water, vegetable oil, food coloring, and an effervescent tablet. These are instructions on how to do her lava light and also instructions about batteries if you should have to replace them. Um, she comes with a composition book and also a little iPad looking thingy and if you've watched the series you know that that's her computer that she calls Addison and um, these the it fits into the composition book which snaps shut. Um, this is the one complaint I have is the backpack while it does open which is nice and the backpack is super cute. When I try to put the composition book into the backpack, it does not fit. No matter what I did, I could not get this thing to go in there. And I just don't think it makes sense to have a backpack and, and this composition book not fit into it. You can see I'm trying to push pretty hard. So if any of you got this to work, please let me know what I am doing wrong because it is not working for me. All right, Michaela the doll herself is a total cutie. She wears a cute uh, black felt hat with a um, polka dot trim, and she has beautiful green inset eyes with rooted eyelashes, and she wears a very natural looking lip gloss. She has a t-shirt on with a large owl on it in red glasses, which I think is super cute. You can tell that owls are her thing. And underneath there, she's wearing suspenders that end in denim shorts. Her jacket is denim with le a black leather sleeves. The jacket is sewn onto the inner outfit. Um, see that? So it makes it kind of hard to see her suspenders. She's wearing these knee-high socks. Oh wait, this is her ring. Super cute. It says MC squared. And She's wearing knee-high socks with some numbers or writing on them and uh, red lace-up boots. Very practical. So she's also very kind of fashionable and her, her joints um, can move pretty easily at the knees, at the wrists, at the elbows. And what I understand is she does have a basic doll, but that doll does not um, have articulated limbs. Turning her around, you can see that she has this mass of beautiful black, dark brown hair tumbling down her back. 
Um, but I'm afraid to brush it. I'm afraid it will get even frizzier. Um, and the instructions say not to wash it either with water or soap, so I'm wondering how we're supposed to tame it. I guess I'll have to take a chance and wash it anyway. Now we're ready for her lava light experiment. So we have our cup of water, the food coloring, a bottle of vegetable oil from another science kit, and um, an effervescent tablet that we've broken into four pieces. And uh, at this point I ask my daughter to pick out a food coloring and she chooses red. You can see her little hand in there going in and taking it out. We've put a drop of the red food coloring in the cup of water and now we're ready to begin. First, um, you pour in the water up to the third line from the bottom and I just happened to hit it on my first try. Then you pour in the vegetable oil to the top line and I do that but I managed to spill some as you can see. And then you um, put in the effervescent tablet so that it can start fizzing. And then we screwed on the cap to sit back and watch. And it starts fizzing and we turn it on and it starts blinking and you can see it's really cool. You can see it does have a lava lamp effect. And I guess this is happening because um, water and oil don't mix. I remember reading about the polarity of water some time ago, how the molecules don't let in other molecules and they don't bond. So that's why water and oil don't mix. And here we've turned on the light, turned off the light so you can see the effect. I really like this set. My daughter was super excited about the experiment working and it's just really, really cool. And I highly recommend it. The one thing I don't like, as I said, is the book, the composition book not fitting into the backpack. That just didn't make sense to me. But anyway, I recommend it if you want to get something for your little girls to encourage them to um, be interested in science. I think this is a great series. Thanks for watching.